Hi, this is Adrienne with Swift Galleries. I wanted to show you how you can build and use a product that has multiple openings. Typically, this is going to be um, a framed product. So I'm going to show you how to build that. So here I am in Swift Galleries at app.swiftgalleries.com. Click Products and Manage Products. And I am going to build my frame by manually creating. And this is going to be, I'm going to call this my 9-up frame. Um, the product description will be seen by your client. So let's see, um, nine beautiful images in a black frame. Um, this is going to be, I'm going to leave this as my lab. Uh, it is not going to be a wrapped product, it is going to be a framed product. I want my frame to be black. I can change the color if I want to here. Um, yes, it's a one inch frame. Um, and I do not want a mat. And I will keep this product color gray. Alright, then products and sizes. This is going to be my frame, my inner frame size or my outer mat size. So let's say it is a 20 by 20. Let's say it costs me $75 and I sell it for uh, $450. And so I have my frame built, and now I need to um, build my openings. So I am going to add another product. Manually create it. And this is going to be my nine up um, And I'm going to put uh, pictures for inside the nine up frame. frame. Okay, this is going to be non wrapped. Um, I'm going to make this product color white. Size and price. So let's say these are. Man, I have to do math. Um, so if I have four by fours, that should give me enough space. So let's make these as four by fours. Obviously, this is whatever the size is um, for the openings, the actual image opening. So, you know, check with whichever lab you're using for whichever product you're using. And in here, you're going to put the cost is $0 and the price is $0 because these are the openings. They've already paid for the product in within that frame price. So I'm going to save this product. And now I'm going to go into manage templates, which is under my products tab. And I'm going to build this as a template as a saved template. So I'm going to create a new template and you can use the A key to add a product. I'm going to add that framed product, finish add. It's just one size. I don't need to change the size. I don't need to change the mat width or color or the frame width or color. Don't worry that, that it shows that there's no mat. I'm going to show you how to use this as the mat. Okay. So now I'm going to add a new product. So if I click back on the background, the A key will give me a new product. And I want this to be the nine up images. Finish add. And I need nine of these. So the D key will duplicate this product. It makes it a lot easier. So I've got three. And I'll show you how to align these in a second once I have them all in here. All right, 
so they're all in here and now I need to um, align everything so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move the framed print out of the way and select I just drag and select um, these three products oh and shift and my left arrow will align those to the left now I'm going to do the same thing for these three shift left key left arrow and the same thing for these now all I need to do is align the images here I'm going to align top good. Now I'm going to drag this back. Oh no. Sorry, my computer's hard at work while it's making this video. All right. And I can use my arrow keys to just kind of tap it over. So that looks good. That looks centered. This looks ready to go. I am going to save this as a new template. Sorry, my little screen thing is up here. Okay, I am gonna call this my nine up framed uh, collage. And I'm gonna say, yes, this is a favorite. You can choose if you wanna do that or not. All right, here it is right here. So now when I am in the designer templates it's already built right here and then I add my images and you can save this as a suggestion beforehand if you want I'll go ahead and do that And so the only thing to really um, take into account that's going to be different from the other products that you um, that you use in Swift Galleries is you're going to upload a um, blank white high-res image as an image into this client or into each client if you use them for all if you if you sell this to all of your clients and I'll show you how to use that in just a second it was cold it was a cold day <laughs> uh, sorry, I don't know why I'm, you know, taking my time <laughs> choosing these. <laughs> I guess I should get it printed, huh? <laughs> And Chris. All right. Now, the only thing that really makes this different, uh, let me put this in a room where it looks a little, where it's a little closer. There we go. All right. So, the only thing that's different is when you, if you are using Swift Galleries, for um, ordering, you're going to want to include uh, the white image as the mat. Let me show you what that looks like. That actually looks 
pretty darn good. All right. So I'm just going to skip to design galleries. This is in the sales meeting module in Swift galleries. All right. So those little X's are um, images that have previously been chosen as no images. Okay. So if I add this to the cart uh, as is, Remember, I didn't do anything with this white. It's not going to let me add it because I don't have anything as this framed prints image, which in this case is just the um, white mat. So that's why I say to load a high res, there it is, white image. Um, and I want that to be this mat. Okay, so I'm going to choose this white image. Now, if you're not using Swift Galleries for checking out, for whatever reason, you don't have to include this step. You know, it can save a suggestion just fine with an image missing. But I need to have an image in this framed product for it to let me add it to the cart. So now that I have that white high-res image in the background, now I can check out. Looks like I already have something actually in here, but you get the point. All right, and then I can continue my checkout process from there, okay? So to kind of go over this one more time, you are going to add the framed print. You're going to add the frame as its own product, and that is the product that gets the price, your cost, um, and your retail price that you're charging your clients, okay? The images or the non-wrapped product, which is, you know, the, the openings that are going to go in this product, get $0 cost, $0 um, price for your client because the, the, the frame already has that price in there. Okay, so you do the frame, you do the image openings, uh, and then you build it as a template in Manage Templates. I'll show you that one more time. You build that as a template, and then you can use that template. Here it is right here. You can use that template in the designer. Uh, and keyboard shortcut, if you do not know this one, um, if I want to select this whole thing, because remember, it's just a template. If I want to select the whole thing, I can either click and drag across and that will select it all or command A on my keyboard will also do the same thing. It'll select it all and it'll show me the frame and all of those images. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. I'm always happy to help. Thank you for watching and enjoy your day.